Hey everyone, John here from the Deer's Embroidery Legacy and in this how to do doodler session I'm going to show you the difference between saving your artwork within the PC version of the design doodler and the iPad version. Now if you like these videos please make sure you hit that subscribe and make sure you hit that bell to make sure you're notified every time we release a new video. Now keep in mind there are some differences between the PC version, the full-blown version of the Design Doodler and the free accompanying iPad app that you can actually use on the comfort of your couch. They're not completely identical and there's some features within the PC version that are more powerful than that within the app. That's why we have the two different file formats. The PC version saves the JDX file format and when you bring in your artwork and you doodle on the actual PC version and you save your file it will save the artwork with it. Because of the limitations within the iPad version in comparison to the PC version when you save your JDS files it will not save the artwork attached with the file. So there's a couple tricks that I have to make sure that if you need to go back to your iPad and you want to start doodling a design that you've already you know, started or you're midway through, that you can bring that artwork back in easily and have it line up just the way you want it. Now I'm going to give you a visual comparison between the PC and the app version. We're going to bring in the same artwork both times. First thing I'm going to check is to make sure that under the settings I am in Imperial because I think of design sizes in inches, but when you're talking about actual properties, stitch lengths, you usually do those in metric. So I'm kind of toggling between the two. So it is on Imperial right now. I'm going to bring in my artwork. I'll bring in the same design for both of them just so that we see exactly how they react. I can turn on and off the artwork with that little eye on the artwork tab. I can also select it. It comes up in properties and it is 52 inches in height and width right now. That's a little excessive for embroidery so let's change that to 3 inches and as long as the maintain aspect ratio is on it will resize it. I'm going to make sure I go to the zero and zero in the left and top. That'll bring it more central onto the screen. And then I can just go to my six to one tab and that brings it there and pan over to where I want to start. So I'm kind of panned into my design right now. One more thing I am going to do is select it and let's just take the opacity and bring it down a little bit so that I'm not seeing it really stark on the screen. And now I am all set to go. So let's go and click off of the object so the artwork is no longer selected. I'm going to choose a running stitch, freehand tool, and I'll choose 2.5 millimeters. I am going to choose a color that we can see, and then I'm just going to start right here, and I'm just going to kind of doodle over top of the artwork. I do not need to be overly concerned that I am exactly hitting these spots exactly the way the artwork is because this is all about doodling. It is artistic merit and I just want to make sure that I'm having some fun putting in enough stitches, defining areas. When I get right up to here I'm going to stop and then of course I can pick up on the same point and keep on doodling as much as I want. As long as I release to generate the stitches and then I end up picking up again in the same spot. So right on that dot I'm going to keep on going I can keep on doodling and creating all of my objects and if I get to some point that I need to shut this down and then want to pick it up later on that's not an issue I'm just going to go over here to save I'm going to tell it to save this as ABC and I'm saving it as a JDX file and it is saved so now if I close this up and I ever want to bring it back in I'm just going to open and then I'll bring in the ABC file that I just saved, opened it up, and there my artwork is right back on screen and I'm ready to continue doodling. So now we'll go over to the iPad and even though the JDS file will not save the artwork attached to the file, I'm going to show you how you can quickly bring that file back up and get your artwork back in place. So here's my little trick for the iPad. I'm going to bring in my artwork and I'm going to select it and when I go to my properties and I go to the size, again the aspect ratio is on, I'm going to make sure I type in a 3, let's just select the entire area, type in 3 and that way I know that it is done. Select all, put in a 0, again select all, put in a 0 
and hit the enter button and now it is in place just like it was on the other one I can reduce the uh, opacity to dim it out and then I'm going to close that and let's bring it into a 6 to 1 scale again I can come in and just move around here and if I wanted to start creating a design I'll just choose the right tools choose the, uh, the stitch length and then I can come in and do essentially the same thing to start creating my design now at this point if I go in and I want to save that when I save this file it's going to save it as a JDS file again I'm going to call it uh, 123 or let's just do ABC so there is my ABC file so now that my artwork is saved I'm going to call it back up and I'm going to make sure that I hit that same file extension I'm going to take it to a 3 to 1 size bring back in the exact same artwork from the library and let's just grab it there hit the use I'm going to select the artwork so I'm just going to click on the artwork go to my properties and let's just make sure that I select all and then let's change that to a 3 my uh, maintain aspect ratio is on so I know it's going to resize both select all let's come back in here type 0 hitting that 0 0 is the key because I know that's what I had before so I can close that now hit the OK it's lined up perfectly I'm going to go back into real quick my actual artwork and let's bring that up because I want to take this and just make it nice and dim so you can barely see it and that way when we do zoom into 6 to 1 and I turn on the pan and we pan down in the artwork you can see that it's lined up perfectly to where it was before now I can just pick up right where I left off grab the same tool I can grab the same stitch length and I can just continue on the design and I am ready to doodle so if you are doodling on your iPad, that's the easiest way that I've found for you to bring in your artwork to a JDS file after you've actually saved it out. So it's a little bit of an extra step, but it's not a big deal. Just make sure you mark down the height or the width when you actually did it the first time. Take a little screen capture maybe, that way you have it saved in your photos, and that way you can bring it back in and you're off doodling once again. Mm -hmm.